So we have here one of our water fears. As you can see, bubbles in it, which is always a good sign. And gunk at the bottom. Now I have our other glass, which we'll have to empty because we're going to reuse it. But not very many bubbles in, in this one. Let's uh, pop it open and see if it's fermented anymore since we put it in the fridge. Oh, sounds like it has. Let's give them a taste. So it still smells kind of the same, but it looks like when you look through it, like there's more gunk than normal. Nice. Tastes a little bit fizzier than normal too. Very nice. Save him for later. Oh, I suppose I'll pour it in a glass. But anyway, the main event of the video today. We have our wee guys. Oh, cool man. You see this? Look. You see all those strands? Also, is it my imagination or is there loads of grains compared to normal? I think they'll be multiplying. Make baby grains. Anyway, so we're gonna strain these out. My god, they've definitely been growing. Um gonna strain these out and then we're gonna ferment, second ferment the liquid lost meat taste test. Obligatory. Can it still just taste like sugary water? But anyway, let's um be a bit more modest. Let's drain it out man. So we have this here, we'll just drain it into that, it'll be perfectly fine. Get a little nylon strainer, remember not metal because we've got to be kind to our wee grains, and then chuck them out. Boom. Look at our wee grainy pals. It's actually quite a lot of them, to be fair. Not sure if it's more than last time, but it definitely feels a bit heavier. Chuck it in here. So we'll wash this out so we can rehome these guys. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is for a second ferment this time, I bought a bunch of bananas, right? But then I kind of let them go off a little bit. To be fair, just this amount of going off is amazing in porridge and stuff like that because it's a lot sweeter. Um, ideally, slightly less than this. Like this is like three days more than I'd want. But I like it when there's a bit of brownage going on. But anyway, we we'll chuck in a freshly drained water, which you can see is now cloudy and got some good stuff in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a banana. So for second ferment you want to add something with sugar to let the bacteria eat the sugar. Now ordinarily I've seen people normally using fruit juices or like hard fruits, kind of like apples, pears maybe, berries, things like that. Never seen someone do it with banana, but I just googled before this video, can I do it with banana? And they said yeah. So, Google says so, it must be right. So what we're gonna do is chuck the banana in, and because of how ripened it is, it's very high in sugar, which should mean that there's loads for the wee guys to eat. Excuse me doing this with my fingers. I hate when people do it, but it's the easiest way, man. So anyway, we'll break it up, chuck them in. Oh. Oh, it's splashing everywhere. Just breaking it up so that there's more surface area for the sugars to leak out, I suppose. There we go. Boom. And 
And there we go. Boom. Doesn't that just look appetizing? <laughs> Said nobody ever. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is chuck the lid back on. Pop the... Pop this down, so that means no air will come out. And we're going to leave this for like two days. Um, then we'll have a look at it. God, it looks horrendous. But we'll be back and see how you taste shortly. Oh man, that just looks rough. Look at it, cats. <laughs> So next time I see you, we will be trying banana second fermented water fuel. Let's see how it goes, man.